Good morning, everybody. What is today? I've lost track. Today is December 10th. Can you guys believe it? So I have got my water. Um, I was going to say boiling, but it's not boiling yet. I put my water on for my tea and we're actually going to start out with the tree of the day while we're waiting for the water to boil. And if the water comes to a boil while I'm showing you the tree, then we will go ahead and make our tea. So I want you to see right there in the background. Can you see the kitty? That is Hercules. He's our main coon. They are just making so many cameos in my video. They're probably going to want a portion of it. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So here is our tree of the day. This tree is located in the kitchen next to the travel and memory tree with my mom's white angel on it. This tree I've never done before. This is a new thing. This tree also came from the thrift store. I know that surprises you guys. I think it's an outdoor tree, but I don't really care. You know, I break all the rules. So let's go ahead and back up. We've got kind of a funny, funky tree going on here. Um, it is kind of matchy-matchy, believe it or not, but it's not matchy-matchy. And so what I mean by that is the a lot of the ornaments that are in this set are from a single set. I called it my Dr. Seuss set. If you can hear that alarm going off in the background, it is my husband's, so hopefully he turns off his alarm soon. Um, sometimes he tries to let it play forever. So we topped this off with a great big huge star. And don't mind that clock in the background, it needs a new battery, so it is not 3.30 in the morning nor 3.30 in the afternoon. But what I wanna focus on and tell you guys the name of this tree this is the hippo tree, everybody. Now, I know that sounds silly, but these are Hallmark ornaments. I'm going to go ahead and play one. They've all got a button. Where's this one's button? There it is. They all sing the hippopotamus song. So this started out as a joke for my husband because he used to sing this song when we first started dating. And so as a joke, I got him a hippopotamus ornament. And so we have got this ornament right here and our tea is just about ready. So we're gonna come back to the list and this right here is all gonna be coming up for my girl's brunch. So I've left all of this stuff out. I'm excited to tell you guys I am making something with these right here. Okay, so I digress, right? Squirrel moments for Marlene. You guys are all surprised by that. So let's get into our tea really quick. Let's get the steeping. Let's see what it is. So we need day number 10. And so day number 10 looks like this. It looks like some fruit pieces. What do you guys think? Looks like maybe some pieces of some apple. Fireside mocha interesting let's turn this box around and see what's in it and see how long we need to steep it i'm not going to read out to you guys what is in it so as soon as i find it i will show you guys and i'll make sure that it's up on the screen long enough even if i have to put it over okay it's all the way down here on the bottom so i just want to see how long am i supposed to brew this this is five plus minutes it's a fruit infusion so uh, that is good to know. And of course, I've got to grab my steeper, so I'll be right back. So I went ahead and put my tea in there, and this actually has some chocolate in it. I do want to tell you guys, my friend Alicia from Country Mama Musings, she was talking about getting this tea steeper and possibly the uh, calendar, the 24 days of tea. And she was asking me, or the conversation came on her live, about sugar content and so this tea does have some chocolate chips in it but i did tell her that i would look and see on the calendar how many of them had sugar in them so if anybody else is interested in any of the teas or what's in them just let me know and i'm more than happy to look for you i believe you can look on david's teas website too but you know sometimes it's just as easy if I mention it during the day. So this one does have chocolate. Now let's go ahead and get back to our hippo tree. So I showed you guys this ornament up here at the top. And then we have got all kinds of funky ornaments. And I told you guys most of them came in the same set. Oh, so believe it or not, 
this ornament and this ornament here are all from the same set along with all of these so this color and this color and this pink color we got this i believe it was at sam's club and this one here even came in the same set and this one says mary and it's got gold on it so i went ahead and used that ornament set and then from cracker barrel several years ago i picked up a bunch of these candies and i got them in a teal and in a pink where's a pink one there's a pink one so i went ahead and put those on here as well and those cracker barrel ones were like a dollar a piece so you know me when I buy stuff, I can't just buy one. I bought like 10 of each color. So our hippos, back to our hippos. We have got one hippo up here and they all sing, but I'm not going to play them all. I love the song, but I'm not sure about a copyright thing or anything. So I don't want to push my luck. And then we've got this hippo here with Santa on his back. And these Hallmark ornaments, like I told you guys, absolutely love them. And then we've got the hippo in the sleigh here i do want to point out you guys i don't know if you guys know this or not but from hallmark you can actually get these keepsake um ornament hangers they are thicker they also have a little loop which if you see on top of his head um they fit into the ornaments themselves so just in case you guys didn't know that and then we have got this little hippo right down here and she is so cute look at the little bow on her head and that is an actual little bow it's not actually plastic it just cracks me up and then our last hippo on our tree so far is this little guy right here in his cute christmas sweater so this is our hippo tree so for the past five years my husband has been getting hippopotamus ornaments and you guys will just have to wait and see if he gets another one and this is as i said uh, right next to the sentimental tree so you will notice that both of them are in colored lights. And as I mentioned with the sentimental tree, you're not going to see too many with the colored lights. And of course, there's the kitty laying on the tree skirt. And these right here, you guys will see in a haul coming up. But I just set those right there. Um, those are going to be for some baking goodies. So I'm going to let my tea steep for a little bit longer. But let's go ahead and get into Vlogmas for the day. Here we are shopping again. I didn't take a lot of footage in the store this time, you guys, but I do want to let you know that I had a wonderful girls day with my sister-in-law, Shannon, and my mother-in-law, Ida. So I just took a picture of a few things because we have already done this this year, even though they always come out with new stuff and it absolutely amazes me. And I can't wait to share this haul with you. Bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you really quick the few groceries that I got today. I got all of these at Walmart, so I will include some prices. I just shopped for a little brunch that I'm doing with a few girls from work. So let me go ahead and turn it around to show you what I got. So this is all I got at Walmart as far as groceries go. And we are doing a brunch, like I said. And so I'm going to do somewhat of a little charcuterie board. So I went ahead and grabbed some mixed nuts. And then I got some Christmas tree cakes. My sister-in-law, Shannon, found a recipe for Christmas tree cake dip. That's right, everybody. And you guys know how much I love these. So we're going to go ahead and make those. And I think that if I saw it online, that some people said they found it on the package but I don't see anything on the package, so maybe this was in years past. So we're gonna go ahead and make that. It should be absolutely delicious. And don't worry, I will film me making that. And the Nilla wafers are for that. And then I've got a recipe that I'm going to be doing for some brown sugar almond baked brie. So I needed some sliced almonds for that and some Dijon mustard. And then for the Christmas tree dip, we're also going to use these pretzels. So I went ahead and grabbed a big container of those. And then actually for my son and my husband, I did grab them something. My son and husband absolutely love this jalapeno artichoke dip with the little naan. 
And I don't buy the non locally because for a container this size, it's over $5. So these can be frozen too, just so you guys know. So I grabbed two of those and one of these for the men because they're not coming to the brunch. <laughs> and then we needed a gallon of milk. So I got a gallon of milk and you can see the time that is 10 o'clock at night. And I left my house this morning about nine o'clock. So I was gone for 11 hours. And then we needed some sour cream. I can't remember for what, but it was something for the brunch. And then I needed the Cool Whip for the dip. And then we're gonna be doing mimosas because it's a brunch. I went ahead and grabbed two of the Low Pulp Minute Maid. And then here's the brie cheese so I can do that. And then I went ahead and grabbed a couple things of salted butter just because I was running a little bit low. Now, let me go ahead and show you guys what else I got. Okay, everyone. So let's jump into everything else that I got for this girl's trip, for this grocery slash Christmas slash whatever kind of haul you want to call it. We're going to go ahead and um, go ahead and start with a few things I bought for myself because apparently I think I need to buy myself at Christmas time. And I'm thinking about giving these to my husband so he can wrap them up because we generally don't buy too much for each other and he has a hard time picking stuff. So let me show you really quick what I got for myself. So I went ahead and got myself this Halo Live Pro Multimedia Station and I'm not sure if it's going to work exactly perfect, but I figured why the heck not grab it. So it's an 8 inch LED ring light and an adjustable and portable self selfie stick for travel convenience. Now I don't have a selfie stick and the ring light that I have is actually quite large. So I thought this one would be really nice for vlogging. And so I got this at TJ Maxx for $19.99. And my mother-in-law is the one that pointed it out to me. And I tell you what, when I go shopping with other people, besides even my kids, I spend so much more money because I would have missed that. And she saw that and it's something that I could use. And I thought it was a good idea. Then I went ahead and found my Christmas PJs. These were from TJ Maxx as well. These were $19.99 and these are so super soft. And you guys, it says this girl loves Christmas and it's 100% true. And then when we were at Walmart, I saw this calendar that is a URA, you know what, new and favorite inspirations plus money making you know what? I don't want to say that on there and say that I have to say it, but I'm super excited about this. And so this is 2020 and I'm going to have this sitting on my desk and you will probably see some of this come in to my YouTube channel. And then I also bought this cute little guy for myself. This is the Valentine's gnomes. You guys already out. I don't have a Valentine's gnome, so I bought myself one and I just grabbed one because I was afraid they were going to be gone. Um, the Christmas gnomes at our TJ Maxx's you know, went so quick. They were gone before December. So I grabbed this one. He was $7.99. My mother-in-law said I should have grabbed two or three of them. And then I got a couple things. Well, one more thing for myself, even though, is it really for myself? I mean, it's soap, right? This is sweet cinnamon pumpkin scented hand wash. Julia showed me this. She was shopping with us today as well. And this is why I bought this right here. It was 99 cents. So I went ahead and grabbed that and it smells delicious. So I got that. And I say that's for me, but really it's funny because it's soap just for me. Then for my hubby, I went ahead and got him this nail care kit plus this little Moscow Mule Cup because he doesn't have one of these. Now, of course, I want you guys to notice that the nail file is actually missing on here. And so when Julia asked about this, it was $5.99 and they actually gave it to me at 30% off. So of course, that was a great deal on that. I think that was $1.40 off, $6.12, $18, $1.80 $1 off of that. So that was a great little thing. And my hubby won't care that the nail file's not in there. And then... You guys know me. I picked these up at the Dollar Tree for him. Peppermint Bark and then Peppermint Crunch Junior Mints as well. So that's all the stuff that I grabbed for him. We generally don't spend a lot of money on each other. And so let me go ahead and put his stuff away so that if he comes out here, I don't have to worry about him being out here. Be right back. All right, so here we are back. I put that stuff away. We've got some not too exciting stuff here, but it's part of the haul, so I want to show you guys. We have got the Colgate toothpaste here. We have got, this is my favorite toothpaste, and I get those from the Dollar Tree for a dollar a piece, so I grabbed four of those. I also grabbed some containers for cookies because that is what I'm doing for family this year, is just baking them some goodies. So I saw these containers, which were pretty big. So I feel like we could do a nice batch of cookies and put those in there. And there's the lids for them. 
Then we've got some really boring stuff. We needed more extension cords. I'm not sure if we needed outdoor extension cords, but I thought I would grab a couple more. And so I got two 25 foot and then I got four more indoor extension cords for six foot. Now let's talk about the thrift store really quick. And of course this was out of town. And so I grabbed a few things at the thrift store. My mother-in-law loves to go to the thrift store. So that was actually our first stop when we got to town. So let me show you guys what I got. So I got this glass jar right here. This is going to be part of my hot cocoa bar. I will be taking off the flower and the ribbon and cleaning it up really good. And I liked that one because it is tall and skinny. I got this one for $3. And then I grabbed this white one. I'm sorry. I grabbed this red one. And it is quite filthy, but it looks like it will clean up really good. We made sure when we pulled the tape off that the red didn't come off. And this one was a little bit more than I would have liked to have spent, but it was just really pretty and I thought it would be amazing on a hot cocoa bar. So I did it and it was $5. So like I said, a little bit more than I would have liked to have spent at a thrift store, but it is what it is. And then I got this pumpkin. I don't know what it is with me and pumpkins and ones that have different textures so i grabbed this pumpkin right here and it's got the price on the bottom but i can't tell i think it was two dollars maybe three dollars again just super funky super weird so i really liked that and then i got these bundles of ornaments and christmas craft stuff so let me see if i can set you guys up really quick i don't have a tripod or anything out here so i'm gonna just try to use maybe these containers from the thrift store and let's go ahead and open these up and see what's in here i don't have a lot of green ornaments and i saw this bundle right here and it was four dollars so i went ahead and grabbed it let me move this other stuff out of the way so that we can see what it is it's kind of like a treasure hunt right so let's take a look it's like i don't even know like is this all tape is this a plastic bag looks like it's a plastic bag with a whole bunch of tape around it so let's go ahead and open it and then of course we're going to have green glitter all over the place but this just looks like a lot of fun and it was only four bucks and you think about how much you spend on ornaments so for me that was a no-brainer so it came with a little shoe Look at how cute that is. A little shoe and a tree. And it looks like the top of that one might be broken off. Yes, that top of that one's broken off, but that's okay because we can we can just set it into the tree. That's one thing you guys, when you're decorating trees, you don't have to have hooks on everything. And then let's see, we've got a star that is quite cute. I'm just gonna scooch these off to the side once we've talked about them. And then what do we have here? Oh, look at these. There's two separate flowers. Those are kind of cool. I've never seen anything like these. Have you guys seen these? Anybody have anything like this? And then we have got another tree. And this one reminds me of a Dr. Seuss tree just because of the different angle that it has. I don't know if you guys can see that. Maybe if I set it on the table, you can see it. I apologize for the shoddy camera work. And then we have got another flower just a smaller size one i almost didn't get these and i'm really glad that i actually did because these are really kind of cool and different and then we have got a hummingbird and of course these are all in the same color green with the green glitter that we're going to have everywhere so let's take a look looks like we've got some more flowers in here so we've got a couple more flowers we have got another christmas tree with the star on top so that one's intact those flowers are intact. We've got some more shoes. Look at all these shoes. We've got a pair of shoes there. So those are cute. We have got a, another hummingbird. And this one has wire wrapped all around it for whatever reason. Whoever was using this for something must have had something fun they did. We've got another one of the trees that remind me of a Dr. Seuss tree. And we've got some more stars. I think I might incorporate some of this into the office tree because the office tree, which you guys have seen a little bit of, if you watch my other channel especially, has got some green in it. And then these right here are actually two of my favorite ones. I don't know why, just because they kind of look like they could, you know, just spin and they're just a lot of fun. And then it looks like the last one we've got in this package is a bow. So let's move all of these out of the way. And of course now, surprise, surprise, we have glitter everywhere. During this time of year, I always have glitter everywhere. 
Then I got this bundle as well, and it was $4. And so I could see some stuff in here that I knew I would use, and I know how much it costs. So I was like, you know what, that's well worth it. Let's take a look. Let's see if I can open this one up. This is kind of fun, you guys. I like this. It's like a treasure hunt, like I said. That's part of what I like about going to the thrift store. Is... <laughs> we had ornaments flying everywhere. Luckily, the little one that fell on the floor didn't break. And so we've got all of these cute little red ornaments that were flying everywhere. <laughs> Those were everywhere. And then... We have got these 24 glitter ornaments, and I have bought these before, and these alone would have cost me $3 at Walmart, and these are the icicles, and I've already got some of those, and these two packages of things are why I actually bought this package. And so here are 20 of the snowflakes, again, $2.98, so if I would have bought these at Walmart, that would have cost me $6 alone, and then we've got a little thing of green ornaments as well and these are the mini glass ones and these obviously are brand new still in the packaging and we've got some more red ones that were loose and these ones are probably the glass ones too so i'm surprised that didn't break and then we've got some brand new garland we've got a gold one and we have a red one so um, and this is, of course, the bead garland. Hopefully you guys can see those okay. So that was a $4 package, but let me show you guys this. I, it looks like this is a garland, but it's an icicle garland. Let me move my phone a little. So check this one out. So this is an icicle garland. I don't know where this hometown traditions is from. I don't recognize the label or anything like that, but it looks like this is brand new as well. It is taped shut with some, obviously some different tape. But I want to open this up and see what we've got here, what it looks like. And so let's see. Look at that garland, you guys. Let me move my hand out of the way. How fun is that? That would be great on a little mini tree. So there's that. Okay, one more little kind of... Oh, let's scoot you back. Let's see what we can do about this. We are camera failing today. We are making things up as we go. There we go. That gives us a little bit more room for you to see. And so I got this jar. And I didn't get it for the jar. I got it for the stuff that's on the inside. Of course, that is a cute jar. It is glass. The lid is plastic. And this said $3 on the top of it. So let's take a look at what's inside of here. There are ornaments inside of here. And so we've got a green one. And then look at these cute little polka dotted ones. Can you guys see that? There we go. So blue polka dot, and you can tell these are all part of the same mini ornament set. And we've got some other hodgepodge, a little red one. Again, a green one, and these ones are glass. And let's take a look. So we've got more blue. So three. Yeah, this is definitely a whole set of little mini polka dotted blue ones. Oh, and look at the little stocking. How cute is that? Again, matches this blue. Whew. Trying to throw stuff on the floor. Let's take a look and see what we've got. More little blue ones. Again, all a set. And this was $3, and so way cheaper than if I would have purchased it on the outside. Oh, and look at that. We got some little mini hooks with it too. Take that. And we've got... Oh, and unfortunately, it looks like something broke inside of there. We've got more of the little stockings. It looks like maybe a bulb broke in there, so I'm going to try to be careful. We've got all kinds of this right here, so I'm super happy I got this. All of these match, and there's a few odds and ends, obviously, but most of them are this blue set. And this is one color that I do not have, so that is exciting. And yeah, an ornament definitely broke in there or maybe it's just a single piece let's take a look and then look at how cute these are look at those little candies aren't those cute they match it as well and so yeah we've got the candies and 
the little stockings. So we've got multiples of those. That would have cost me a lot of money to buy, you guys, because that was, well, maybe not a lot of money. Let's see. There was just this one piece of an ornament. So I guess the whole ornament didn't break. There's a couple more hooks in the bottom. And so that is what was in there. And so that was from the dollar store as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and pick up the camera again and let's get this done. So this is all of the thrift store. I don't know if I just said dollar store. I feel like I did. One other thing I got from the thrift store um, was this cute Santa hat, which I've got a plan for. And that was it for my thrift store trip. Now we've got a lot of other stuff here on the table. You guys are going to see, I know, Shockaroo, some gnomes, but we're just going to go I'm going to try to tell you what store everything I got was at. We got some gnome tins. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. These were all from the dollar store, so a dollar a piece. And they match one of the cups I got. And they're just cute. So I think I might try to set these up somewhere. Not sure where. I got some snowflake stickers because I wanted some snowflake stickers from the dollar store. And then also, since we're talking about the dollar store, I grabbed this Christmas ornament right here. I have a plan for it. I'm kind of excited for it. It's super cute. I just grabbed one and that's unusual for me. Then also from the dollar store, I love this decorative mesh. You're going to see it in a lot of my trees. And I like the idea of having um, extra rolls if you need it. So these were a dollar. And you can see this red one I got, got red and silver in it and a regular red. And I actually did that by accident. And then they had one of these candy cane looking ones. So I grabbed that and I grabbed two silver ones that or two white ones with silver. And then I also grabbed these from the dollar store and I have a plan for these, these little mini glass containers. And then we went to Walmart as well and I grabbed more hooks. It's amazing how when you do 24 trees, how many hooks you need. And then these were brand new. I had not seen these. These were from Walmart and check out the price on those. That's right, everybody, 98 cents. And so you can see these are black and red and the little black ones say Mary. So I grabbed two of those and one of those. And then check this ornament set out. How pretty is that? I don't have any of this minty green color. And so the reason why I bought this, again, is multiple trees that I'm doing, but also check out the price. Look at the price at Ross, $3.99 for this cute matchy matchy set of ornaments. And again, when you're decorating 24 trees, which you've never done before, you run out of ornaments. So I thought that would be cute. I'm gonna try to use that on a mini tree. And then I just couldn't resist. You guys will see why, but we've got some puppy stuff. So I got the actual uh, box and I got that at TJ Maxx, I believe. I'll let you guys know the price when I pull everything out. And then over at TJ Maxx, I went ahead and got some of these Kong Sports. And they're just balls. And the Yorkies play with stuff sometimes, but I didn't get them too many toys, as you're going to see, because they just like to eat. Then I grabbed them some cow ears, and those were $4.99. And then I grabbed them some trachea bites, and those are $5.99. And then from the dollar store, I grabbed some peanut butter flavored dog biscuits. From Ross, I grabbed these cute little ornaments. There was three little puppy prints which we have three Yorkies and there's also three little puppy prints here so I decided to grab those and so this is their present and where is the price where oh where did the price go on this let's take a look there it is all the way around so this costs $7.99 for this little box and it is so super cute so that is the doggy present and the cats have so many things that they haven't eaten yet then they're not getting anything i'm just a mean mom i don't make things fair just so you guys know and then oh my gosh you guys we have got gnomes and gnomes and more gnomes and more gnomes so we were at walmart and i can't remember if it was my sister-in-law or my mother-in-law that pointed out the Sensationals Wax Warmer. And I don't have a gnome warmer. Do I need a gnome warmer? No. Was this the cutest thing ever? So I had to buy it. 
Yes. So again, maybe this is something for myself that I should have added in the for self pile. And then uh, this was kind of a cutesy patootsie. This is a little sugar cookie bath fizzer in a gnome. And I plan on putting this in the bathroom. It probably won't get used because my bathtub is not very deep and I don't actually take bathtubs. So, or bathtubs, I don't take baths. And then these were brand new. We didn't see these at Walmart before and there was all kinds of them. I mean, gobs and gobs and gobs. So these obviously came late. There were two different kinds, but these were definitely the cutest. And these were $1.98 and I grabbed six of these. You guys know I do my matchy matchy trees. So six of these and these ones you guys are weighted on the bottom. So it's nice. They'll always sit straight up and down. And then check this guy out oh my goodness he is so dang cute but let me show you guys the best part about him take a look he is a tree topper let me show you something else if you don't want to use him as a tree topper he could very easily be a shelf sitter and you can't even tell so i did grab him and he's got his price on him. He was $12.98. I asked my hubby if I needed him. And he said need might be a strong word. But look at how cute he is. And then over at TJ Maxx for $7.99. I <laughs> bought myself another mug. But look at this, you guys. Look at how cute the gnome is. And look at what it comes with. Oh, you know I'm going to have some fun with that. And then another gnome, but it's so pretty. And you guys have already seen my bedroom. You know it is the white and the red. So he is going to go into the bedroom. And he is actually not only a snow globe, but a music box. I'm going to wind him up. So very cute. He's going to fit in perfect. I actually do not have any snow globes, if you guys can believe that. And he was $14.99. So we're going to let his music play. We're going to let him continue. And then when I found these towels at Ross, I had to have them. I bought every single one they had. They had one washcloth three hand towels and four big towels. So I bought what they had. I had bought some red towels, which I'm still going to use, but I had some white towels that I had paired with them. And the white towels, you guys, were actually very dingy and I was going to try to bleach them and I probably still will, but super excited. So $1.99 for the washcloth, $3.99 for the dish or the hand towel. And the bath towels were $6.99, you guys. So not bad for towels. I like this because we'll put these out for the holiday season. Then they'll get put in the back of the linen closet and we will call it good. Now we've got a few more different things. My sister-in-law saw this and I couldn't resist. Look at the little gnomes on here. So obviously this will just be for decor, which sometimes is kind of silly. So peppermint candy cane, luxury bar soap, and it was $3.99. So this is going to go in the bathroom as well. And then I bought this for myself to actually use. So this is the pomegranate Burt's Bees. But if you watched my nail video, this is the cuticle cream that I was telling you guys about. So lemon butter cuticle cream. And I was super happy with the price on this of $3.49. So I grabbed that. And then yet again, another gnome thing that I did not need. And this I will put my olive oil in for the holiday. And let me show you guys really quick that I actually keep this all the time. And so you can see up at the top of my stove and you can see there's salt all over the top of the stove. Hey, we're here keeping it real. So I am going to replace this. Uh Oh, is he too tall? He might be too tall. Oh, I didn't think about that. He's a little bit too tall. I don't know if he's going to stay on that part of the stove or not. So we're just going to have to see. If nothing else, I can take this and put it right there as well. So back to the hall. And there's a kitty. All right, let's see. What else do we have? We have so much more. Julia found this for me and this is going to go in my crock in the kitchen. And so this was at Ross for 
and that is going to be super cute added there. And then I've got some more dollar store towels. I absolutely loved these red towels, you guys. They wash up so nice. They dry things very well. So I grabbed four more red. And because I liked them so much, I grabbed a couple gray just to have. And then now I'm going to show you guys Julia's Christmas presents, the stuff that I've got. So Julia, if you happen to be watching, please stop the video now. So let's talk about some stuff that we got for our Miss Julia. And she knows some of the stuff because she picked it. But I saw this super cute J mug that has the Ghirardelli hot chocolate and chocolate squares and all of that type of stuff in here. And that's just a super cute mug. So I went ahead and grabbed that for her. And so that was $9.99. So very, very, very cute. And then since I was over by the Burt's Bees, I grabbed this for her. This is the Har Mocha Caramel Lip Kit. So it's got the Salted Caramel Lip Balm in it. And then it has got the Conditioning Mocha Lip Scrub with Repurposed Coffee Grounds. And so I've never seen anything like that. So that's what that top thing is. A very interesting concept there. And then she is a Harry Potter geek. So I saw this calendar um, at Walmart and so I got it for her and she actually didn't see me get it. So I'm hoping she actually listened. And then she loves essential oils. I don't know much about essential oils, but I saw this kit right here. And this is a 14 pack of aromatherapy essential oils. And it looks like it has all kinds of different ones in there. Um, it's got, I don't even know what bergamot is, but it's got bergamot, cinnamon, eucalyptus, lavender, lemongrass, lemon, mandarin, mint, peppermint, rosemary, spearmint, sweet orange, tea tree, and wintergreen. So that sounded like a great combination to me. And my phone is getting ready to run out of memory. So we are going to have to hurry. Then my kids absolutely love these Black Forest, their fruit snacks. So I grabbed her a Santa snack. She knows what this is because she picked it out and said, hey, mom, this is what I want. So she wanted the salt, crystal, USB lamp, the color changing. I got to lift it. Sorry about that, you guys. It's kind of heavy. And so I don't even know how much it was. She told me she wanted it. So I grabbed it. And so that one is $13.99. And yeah, that is pretty heavy. And then I saw this cute little set here. And these are just hand creams. And there's three different ones. There is a sugar plum, a rose and honey, and a winter berry. And it is so, so dry here in Wyoming. I thought that was a great little thing for her. And so that's $4.99. And then for Julia, one last thing. I got her a micro flush heated throw and I got this from Walmart. And so we got her the black and white. So she absolutely loved that. That's it for Julia. Let's move on to a couple gifts that I needed for other things. Um, I am throwing a brunch, like I said, and we're doing a little gift exchange. So I grabbed this cute little thing where there is a warm vanilla foot cream, a little mug that says, Hey, sugar plum and a warm vanilla what is that? A foot scrub. So I just thought that was super cute. It was right in the price range where we needed to be. So that was $9.99. And these right here look just so fun. So there's a Christmas Who Am I? A Christmas Hum That Tune and a Christmas Charades. And so just a fun little kit of fun Christmas festivities. And that was $7.99. Next, let's go ahead and move on to Peyton's presents that we got. He already got his big present. So you're not going to see a lot more for Peyton. I did get him some of these sneaker balls because he's a teenage boy and his shoes and his stuff stink. So I grabbed him those same black forest gummies. And then I want to show you these and I should show you the price on the sneaker balls as well. Cause I know those are on there. Um, price of those was two 99. Look at this PJ set that I got for him. How cute is that? So I grabbed this for him. Could not resist. Let's take a look. So this PJ set was priced at $19.99. And then surprise, surprise, he got a heated throw as well. And his is a Sherpa throw. So it's a lot softer and thicker. But his is in the blue and white. So that is a few things that I grabbed for Peyton. 
and also we've got stuff for our hot cocoa bar. I do want to let you guys know that there is more stuff that I bought for the adopt a family, but I'm going to do a separate haul for those. So for the hot cocoa bar, I got some holiday sequins and I got these for $2.99 from TJ Maxx. I'm also going to use this in a recipe. I got these hot cocoa bombs and I'm so, so excited about these because I've never had these. And these ones were actually on clearance. And Julia told me what happened with this. One of them actually came open. And so I don't know which one we didn't get. But there were supposed to be 10 in here. And we got 9 of them. And so if you look right here, they were marked down to $9. And they were normally, I think, $18.99. So missing one of them. And we got them for half price. Julia actually picked this up for me because I told her I was looking for gingerbread stuff and there's sugar cookies inside of this little guy. So how cute is that? And let me look at the price on him. I know he's from Ross because she picked him up at Ross. So let's see. His price right there is $11.99, so he was so super cute. From the dollar store, I picked up some mini candy canes. I did it in the pink or red and white as well as the multicolor. I also picked up some of these soft peppermint candies and those were all from the dollar store so they were a dollar. I picked up some bubble gum from two night for from Ross for $2.99 and I did that because I just think they're so pretty. And then from the dollar store I picked up some of these stirring spoons and I didn't know how many cups of hot cocoa people were going to have. So I actually grabbed three of them because they're only a dollar. Then I thought some fun cocoa mixes would be amazing. So I got a gingerbread one and this was $3.99 at Ross. And I also got an eggnog one for $3.99. And then Julia picked me up this hot cocoa set and this was from Ross as well. So it comes with a little hot cocoa like little pourer there and it comes with a hot cocoa mug and a little marshmallow thing so let's see how much it was I do not remember so this was $9.99 there you go it's got a cocoa pot a cocoa mug and a marshmallow canister so very cute so that is my haul today And that is my haul today. And like I said, I did get some more stuff for the adoptive family, but we're going to do a separate filming on that. So thank you for coming along today. And yes, I'm still Christmas crazy and I need to stop buying gnomes. So if anybody knows of a gnome hotline that I can call for some help, please let me know. All right, everybody, that is it. I hope you guys have a blessed day and remember, keep on smiling. Bye, everybody.